आमच चैनल सब्सक्राइब करा और बेल आयकॉन व क्लिक करू नवीन नए वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन्स मिलवा
fragmentation, second is budding, then other types binary fusion in amoeba, parabosium, then conidium, uh, penicillium, spore formation, then another one is vegetative reproduction. These are the types of asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, in sexual reproduction, for fusion of the two gametes, two gametes means one is male gamete and other is female gamete. Male gamete is haploid, female gamete is haploid. Huh? After fusion of the male gamete and female gamete, formation of diploid zygote. Diploid zygote. Huh? And then from zygote develops embryo. Embryo. Huh? Formation of embryo is the process of embryogenesis. Formation of embryo is the process of embryogenesis. In this process, two haploid gametes fuses and formation of diploid zygote. Here, meiosis occurs, meiosis and mitosis. Both process. Huh? Already you know that the process of cell division, meiosis and mitosis. In mitosis, cell divides, but number of chromosomes are not divided. Means have diploid cells divide and formation of two diploid cells. This process is known as mitosis. Huh? And in meiosis, meiosis diploid cells divide and formation of two haploid cells. Two haploid cells. This is known as meiosis. In sexual reproduction, both meiosis and mitosis occurs, but in asexual reproduction, only mitosis occurs. Only mitosis occurs. Means here only one parent is involved and therefore meiosis not occurs in asexual reproduction. It is occur it occurs in sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, male gamete is haploid, female gamete is haploid. Then fusion of the male gamete and female gamete formation of zygote. Zygote is diploid and from zygote it is developed into embryo. And this process is known as embryogenesis. Then here two male gametes. Well, two gametes are fuses. Therefore, genes from male and genes from female both fuses in the zygote. And therefore, the progeny produced in a se sexual reproduction is totally different from the parents. Huh? In some character it is same, but many characters are different in the ostrings means type. Ostring means type. Huh? But in sexual reproduction, only one parent it is divided. And the progeny is extended. Here mitosis occurs and therefore the progeny is like that of parents. Like that of parents here. Mitosis means not divide the chromosome numbers. Only one parents involved in a sexual reproduction. Then again we are discuss about in deep about the process of a sexual reproduction in plants. Types of asexual reproduction. Here, first type is fragmentation. Types of asexual reproduction. First one is fragmentation. Fragmentation means break into pieces. Huh? Fragment means piece. Here, example of spirogara. Spirogara is a multicellular organism having filamentous body. This one is spirogara. Spirogara. By some reasons, spirogara break into pieces, then every piece, spirogara break into two or three pieces or many pieces, then every piece develop into whole filament, develop into whole filament. Here reproduction occurs, from one parent, many offsprings are reproduced, but here only one parent is involved, then it is asexual reproduction, asexual reproduction, only one parent means asexual reproduction. It is fragmentation. Then, second type of reproduction, first sexual reproduction is body. Second type, body. Body. Body generally happens in unicellular organism, for example, yeast. Example, yeast. You know the yeast. Hmm? Yeast is unicellular organism. 
unicellular organism having central nucleus the nucleus nucleus yeah then in favorable condition each produces some outgrowths small outgrowths and this outgrowth is known as bud this outgrowth is known as buds sometimes it produces one bud then it is it develops it totally develops and then again produces another bud then again produces another bud means chain of bud chain of bud when these buds totally develop then it detaches from the parent cell and every buds develop into new individual huh? here reproduction also occurs only one parent involved means it is a sexual reproduction or sexual reproduction by the process of budding for example yeast huh? then
sponges during unfavorable condition the sponges formation of the demure formation demure means outer covering outer covering and in this outer covering many demures are produced example is sponges sponges huh? when this outer covering is break down this demure is removed from the and every demure form the whole body it is also a type of asexual reproduction means asexual reproduction with the help of fragments in spirogyra then budding in yeast then spore formation in zoospore or uh, mucor sporangium then binary fusion in amoeba paramecium onidia and pedicellia then demure formation in sponges another next important asexual reproduction is vegetative reproduction
means it is root or stem or leaves. Then third characteristic, many plants can grow naturally or artificially. Many plants, vegetative reproduction occurs naturally also and many a times for uh, commercial use, we can also use the artificial method for vegetative reproduction. Then next one is method of production, vegetative reproduction. When we uh, take the artificial method, then there are some types in the method. First one is cutting. method of vegetative reproduction first one is cutting it is simple method it is simple method you already know that it is vegetative propagation means the propagation with the help of any part of the plant body it is root stem or leaves the first method in vegetative reproduction is cutting in this method, any part plant is cut and then pressed into soil. This piece develops into new individual. For example, rose. Huh? Yeah, you really use this method in the home. Rose, any stem of the rose. Huh? With many birds. With many birds. This piece of the stem is cut and then pressed into soil. This way, uh, stem again produce grow and produce a new plants. Huh? This method is known as cutting. Huh? Cutting for example rose stem cutting. Then leaf cutting is also done. Leaf cutting is done in bryophyllum, bryophyllum, brahma gamal. Leaf produce another whole body of the plants huh? when it press in the soil. Then second method Cutting. Then second method is grafting. Second method is grafting. Grafting is also similar that of the cutting, but in this method two pieces are used. Two pieces of the two different plants are used, and then these two pieces are joined to each other like as a same one single plant. Here, for example, one piece. And then the second plant rooted in the plant, rooted in the plant, this piece is pressed on the rooted plant and then tied with the help of thread as like that of a single plant. For two to four days it can be tied and then it grow continuously, continuously grow like a single plant. This method is known as grafting. In this method, the rooted plant is known as stalk. Rooted plant is known as stalk, and the pressure piece is known as spine. Pressure piece is known as spine. In this method, two different characters of two different plants can be mixed in this method. Then, third method. Third method in vegetative reproduction is tissue culture. Tissue culture. Tissue culture. It is also a vegetative propagation method. In this tissue culture method, method by this method, small amount of plant tissue are used. Plant tissue or single cell is used for the propagation of the whole plants. Whole plants. In this method, single cell or tissue. Tissue means a group of cell is used to develop a complete plant body. Carefully grown to give many plants. Huh? From a single cell or from a tissue, we can get many plants. Micropropagation, it is the method in the tissue culture. Micropropagation, in this method, the apical stem. Apical stem means the plant. The plants, apical stem, apical tissue or apical cell is used. It is taken out carefully, then in laboratory it is cultured in a nutrient medium, in a nutrient medium it is cultured from single cell, many cells are produced and from many cells then leaflets are produced, small leaflets are produced, then these 
reflects are separate and grown into soil separately. Hmm? Means in this tissue culture micropropagation from single cell we get the many plants, many reflects. At, at the end, here asexual reproduction occurs, asexual reproduction, type of the asexual, asexual reproduction, asexual reproduction occurs in yeah, the sexual reproduction only one parents involves the type of asexual first one is fragmentation example spirogala then second budding in is then third one is spore formation in mucor then binary fusion amoeba paramoecium then vegetative reproduction in vegetative reproduction reproduction occurs with the help of any part of the plant body leaf stem or roots then method of reproduction, cutting, grafting and tissue culture. Here, a sexual reproduction. So, then again, next point is sexual reproduction.